it does put you in a different uh, environment. Instead of it being Western Oregon environment, it's definitely a Central Oregon, Central Washington style of environment with, uh, you know, the scrub oak and the uh, ponderosa pine and more open countryside and that kind of thing. There's a, oh, there's a little bass right there. It's got an emerging bass population. Some are even bigger than this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the fifth year that we've had this spot. This will be the fifth summer coming up. And we've done several things. We've added trout, but we've also done uh, improvements to the shoreline so it's easier to get to and fish and and we've uh, tried to reduce the load of catfish that are in here. Catfish are, if there's too many of them, they'll eat and eat and eat everything and eat the food that we want for the, for the bass and the trout to have. Look at that hog. That's a slab right there. <laughs> That's a two foot long fish, I think. Ooh. So that's a holdover. Yeah, that's, I can tell by looking at it. It's not a newcomer, no way. That's twice the weight of any newcomers that came in. <laughs> <laughs> It's an easy four pounder, don't you think? I, I do. Me too. Oh, oh, yeah, you think that's four pounds of fish? That's more like five pounds of fish. <laughs> and we've got some big ones out here, too. <laughs> See you, buddy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we've got camping here and uh, two really nice campsites. We've never had two people camped here at the same time that I know of, so way nicer. You don't have the people to contend with or the dog next door barking or the radio or any of that stuff, you know. it's. Uh, most of the time when you're camped on one of our properties, you're the only ones camped there. So, yeah, that's the dock over there in the day use area. There's, we've got several spots kind of cut out of the, the uh, tree line over here to fish as you go. But most people use a boat here. It's just way better with the boat. We've always wanted something over here in Central Oregon. And this isn't the Central Oregon, but it's got the look and feel of Central Oregon, and it's closer to the Portland area. So it's uh, yeah, it's a dandy spot. Uh, it does ice over in the uh, in the winter eh, for about 45 days. Usually, is you'll get some ice cover of some sort, and uh, so I think this time of year, if they see your fly, they take your fly. What size, what size fish have you planted? Uh, two to three pounders, so in that range. In that range of size right there, they're as small as 14 inches up to 18 inches. So they're two-year-old fish. Do you get any holdovers? Oh them? yeah, a lot of holdovers. It's, it's almost 20 feet up by the dike. <laughs> Put him on the reel. Into the sun he goes. Probably 18, 19 inches, maybe two and a half pounds of fish. Nice. Yeah, healthy. What is that? 
20 inch maybe. I think that's a holdover fish. Because that's bigger than I think any that went in this year. So they are they just come out healthy. Unhooked it. There we go. Ready to go back in. You know, this is my favorite part of the job. I'm an obligated actually to go ahead and sample the fishing while I'm out at places. Because how can you actually speak in first person terms when people call, hey, how's the fish in Bruce? Well, I don't know. I was there, but I didn't fish. Now, what kind of talk is that? Yeah, that's not reliable. No, uh-uh.